Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. There's a good chance you've never seen a tractor like this. That's because Jack McCabe of Ohio made it himself. Jack started working on this machine back in 1966 when he realized the tractors of the time weren't powerful enough for his farming needs. Decided I needed a big tractor and there was nothing on the market at that time. And uh, so I was farming about a thousand acres at that time then and I needed a big tractor. 110 horsepower tractor is the biggest tractor that you could buy at that time. It's called the Blackjack because of the color and Jack's name. As you can imagine, Jack's friends and family weren't sure about this crazy plan to build his own tractor from scratch. Everybody thought I was nuts. <laughs> so how does one go about putting together their own four-wheel drive tractor? It takes ingenuity, mechanical knowledge, and lots of parts. First, Jack found an aircraft tow motor frame in a junkyard. That was the foundation for his tractor. Next, he needed a way to power his machine. This is actually the second engine in this tractor. The original was a Cummins engine that came off a semi. It's believed this was the first time a Cummins power plant was used in a tractor. The first engine uh, was in that Diamond T semi tractor. It had a million miles on it. And it was a 180 at that time, 180 Cummins. And by that time, they had converted up to 220s. And so all you had to do was change pistons and liners and, and you make a 220 out of it. So it made me 220 horse. When I had the load speed governor put in the pump back in 66 or 67, and uh, they asked me down there what I was gonna do with the try to do with it. And I said, I was gonna farm with it. And they looked at me kind of funny and said, you think there might be a market in the ag business for Cummins engines? And that was, 25 years before the farm equipment manufacturers decided that Cummins was the way to go. <laughs> the cab was rescued from a Westinghouse Laterno earth mover and is air conditioned and heated using a system from a 1959 Ford automobile. The steering wheel is a tilt telescoping model out of an Olds Toronado. Electric hydraulics were added in 1970 while the air brakes came off a military loader. No other tractor as far as even today has ever had air brakes on it. And it'll stop on the road, going down the road, where the, all the industry tractors will not stop going down the road. <laughs> also, had, like I say, I had a air hose in the field, so I always had air to blow up tires with, and always had an impact wrench in the toolbox to change cultivator shovels and, and plow shears and, and everything with it. All of these features combine to form a one-of-a-kind tractor that's not only powerful, but also offers a smooth ride. Oh, it handles, handles like an automobile. The steering is just as nice and easy. And down the road, it, it, just, it handles like a car going down the road. It's, it's really nice. I've had it up to 45 miles an hour on the road. I think it'll run 60, but I'm not sure. <laughs> it's just as nice as the new tractors are today. It's not, don't have all the new buttons and everything and the GPS and everything on it, but as far as handle the tractor handling itself, it handles as nice as any new tractor you'd buy today. This tractor has gone through a couple of different names and colors, but the blackjack paint scheme has been around since the early 80s. Well, we started out with a couple of different colors of green in the beginning, and I wanted to give a new paint job in about 1980 and my son was in high school, and I said, well, we want to paint the track. And so he came up with the paint scheme. He said, well, let's paint it black and trim it in orange. And I thought to myself, I, well, I don't know about that, but I'm glad I did, because it, it really stands out. Jack has a few other classic tractors around his place, like this 1948 Alice Chalmers C, but none can hold a candle to the blackjack, because having your own tractor one that you built by hand? Why, that's a special type of classic tractor fever. It's mine. <laughs> it's, it's the only one there is. <laughs> Anybody can go buy a, a tractor and have somebody redo it or whatever, you know, or do it themselves, restore it or whatever. But this one here is mine. <laughs> and, you know, to build the whole thing is something special. 